Hey guys! What's up? We're excited for this video because we are collaborating. We are collaborating with Lipstick Lashes and Wine. Wine! That's her name here on YouTube, but her name is Shay and she is awesome. She's super nice and she does a lot of Project Pan type videos. Empty and videos. Empty's favorites. I think she just put up a tutorial also, which I thought was very good. So she does a lot of the same kind of stuff we do and also I need some the other name. stuff. Look at the name. And, and our name, come on. We'd really appreciate it if you went over to her channel. We'll have it linked down below. Um, her channel and her video because she will be doing this as well. And we would like you to go over there and, and subscribe. Subscribe to her channel. If you're coming from Shay's channel, hello. hello and welcome salutations. I'm Susan. I'm Kelsey. And without further ado, we're going to start the video. It's products YouTube made, made us, us buy. buy. Hope you enjoy. Let's go. One of my first products that YouTube made me buy was Hourglass Mineral Veil Primer. So it like comes in like a glass tube. It's probably around like 20 to 30 something same, dollars. And same pack Packaging as the like backlight priming Ooh. filter and the purple oh. one oh. and same thing as like one of the hourglass um it's like a full coverage foundation same packaging as that except this is more of like a cloudy type of glass <laughs> bottle very good it, it very it's very minimizing of the pores but you like it I do I feel like it's overpriced for what it is I feel like you could get other primers that are or just, just as, as well. good work just as well that are not as expensive. I do like the fact that it's not so silicone-y, but it's still very smoothing. But I just, the price for, for what it is is. I don't use that because I don't have oily skin, but it's a good one. I think it's a little bit more hyped up than it should be, but it is something that YouTube made me buy. I think we can both safely say that we both have purchased Max Fix Plus and a MAC paint pot because of YouTube. Oh yeah. Definitely. I bought Soft Ochre Paint Pot and I'm I bought Painterly. Definitely that's two products that I heard about on YouTube and I went out and bought them. I use Max Fix She uses Max Fix Plus every day still on her brushes for like to eyeshadow. To wet them and stuff just to like bump up the, the pigmentation. So, so you're gonna say bump up the volume. <laughs> no. So definitely YouTube made us both buy those. Definitely. Next on the list, which you can confirm, mm -hmm. I can confirm, naked palettes. All of them. One, two, three, basics, heat, smoky. Smoky, I think, is probably the less popular out of all of them. I have two and naked heat. And I have the original basics. I have the original basics. I had naked one, naked three. I have the heat. I, let me just say. I think they're more hyped up than they need to be. Because it... You can buy those same color eyeshadows at like say the drugstore. Like for instance, when CoverGirl came out with those like naked palettes and the rose and this and that, and we did a dupe video about it. Yeah. For how much you get in the pan and for how much the price is, it's way too hyped up. The basics I loved for years. Number, the naked two. <laughs> Number two. Number two. Naked two. It's okay, but it's not my go-to and the naked three was good. Naked Heat is good in my opinion. For the most part, like definitely Naked One. Definitely there's like way better shadows shadows out there. With in better, the packaging. With better pigmentation. Next we're going to talk about the Wet n Wild Comfort Zone Eyeshadow Palette. Raise your hand if you've had it. I definitely have the Wet n Wild Comfort Zone Palette. I don't have the new reformulated one though, which I will be getting. Because who won't buy it? Who won't? But yeah, everyone and their mother hyped up this palette as the best Wet n Wild palette of them all. And honestly, and honestly, it is also awesome. very good. The but, imitation's really good. But it's not a standalone palette because you need mattes, and that mm. had no mattes, none. The new one, they have mattes and tra transition colors. So I feel like Wet n Wild. I feel like their eyeshadows are not as hyped up as they should be but that specific palette mm -hmm. was. Next, I have NARS Creamy Concealer. The Radiant Creamy. I mean, come on. It exploded. Um, it exploded, yeah. <laughs> All over the YouTube <laughs> universe. <laughs> Absolutely. It, did. Yeah. it was a good under eye concealer. It's not the best out there, but no. it was a good one. No, it's a good buy. I feel like 
for twenty dollars, you could get more bang for your buck. More bang for your buck, yeah. Considering, I think they have like not as much product as, as other, other companies. Consumers. But YouTube definitely made us both buy that one. Next, I want to talk about a highlighter. <laughs> Are you surprised? <laughs> That's why I laughed. This is the Mary Lou Minizer. I almost put that on mine. It was probably one of the first highlighters. I'm gonna go, go out on a limb. I feel like it's one of the first, probably, especially one that was hyped up with YouTube. Definitely made me purchase that one, and I think it still reigns as one of my most favorite highlighters. And it reigns in her love for highlighting. It went downhill from there. Or in her point of view, it might have gone uphill from there. <sighs> now I just have so many. Next is the Benefit Professional Primer. I hate this. It was okay. I only used it where I had pores and more, <laughs> which is everywhere. I just didn't like it. Adam's, and to me, it just didn't. It was the texture. I thought it was You're too hyped very... up. Textured person? Yeah. I know. Like, I can't eat mushrooms because of the texture. So. I'm a texture person. I didn't like the texture. And we're gonna end it at that. We're gonna end it at that. This is a doozy. Everyone all over has been talking about this concealer. The Tarte Shape Tape. I can rightfully and safely say I have yet to buy this concealer. Thank you very much. I did. And I waited for weeks for it to come in, in stock online at Ulta because that's the only time I could get it. Because everyone was just buying it. They're and still buying it. They're still buying it. And I have it under my eyes today, but I feel like it's just too heavy and cakey. And I don't know if I'm alone in that. And I don't even use a lot. So what are you gonna use instead now? I like the ColourPop No Filter Concealer. I think it's really good. YouTube definitely made me buy that concealer. Not me. Well, if we're gonna continue on with the uh... Concealer. I'll put the concealer and the foundation all in one. When Tarte came out with their Rainforest line, I always want to say Rainforest of the Sea Cafe, but it's not. So their uh, concealer and foundation, I'm not gonna lie, I bought both. The foundation is terrible. It is too liquidy and it does not, it just, it does not at the same time dry. Yeah, yeah. and it just like sits on the skin, it doesn't sink into the skin, it's I don't know what it is. It's just not good. It's just where I can, I love the concealer. I haven't bought it in a long time. I might buy it again, but I probably went through three of them before I stopped buying it. I think it's better than whatever it makes out the shape tape to be, just because I feel like this is a thinner consistency. Mm -hmm. And I feel like once you set it, it looks like very illuminating under the eyeballs. The craze of the Lorac Mega Pro palettes and for three years, I didn't buy, no, two years? I didn't buy them. And I was like, I don't need all that, I don't need it. And then the third one came out and I'm like, I need it, I need it, I want it, and you I bought it. It is a YouTube hyped product that I bought because of YouTube and it sucks. Just I love I don't like many of these things. Just gonna throw it out there, I have it back there. I've used it and every time I get the same look. Do you know why? It's all a different shade of beige. I can't speak for the first or the second, but the third with the one in the white packaging, oh God. I could've saved my money on that one. They're like, yeah, they're like 50 bucks. You two made me buy it and uh, frankly, I'm mad about it, okay? Next is the Anastasia Brow Pencil. And I do not have any regrets me towards this. Mm -mm. There are pencils that are much cheaper that work just as well, however, Still fabulous. It is still an all-time favorite, and I have no regrets towards X Parkage making me fall in love with this because that's who made me fall in love. I'll always repurchase it at some point. Not every, every time, time, but I, I will definitely do. repurchase. Absolutely. Made us buy it, made us love it, and we are not sad about it. Nope. The next one I want to talk about is Benefit's Who Love Bronzer. Ooh, and Coralista blush. by Benefit. We both have these, bought them because of YouTube. And I love this smell. Coralista smells so fabulous. Mm -hmm. 
Hula really doesn't smell like anything, but no. Both are very good, I will say. Mm -hmm. My only height, like uh, grind with this is the packaging. It's so bulky. It's just overly bulky in my opinion. Like it's cute, but like a lot of benefit packaging is terrible in my opinion. But is it worth the amount of money? Absolutely. It lasts mm -hmm. a long time. It's not easy to go through one of those. No. I have good pigmentation. The hype was definitely, it was worth what it was. Hula, I think for me is a little muddy, but that's just me, I think, because a lot of people love it. I heard the Hula Light was better mm -hmm. for lighter skin tones even. Yeah. Colourpop. Anything. Everything. I don't know where, like one day it just showed it blew up. up. It just was there. Yeah. Like you like had a video, it like 10 videos in your like home screen, just all Colourpop, and I was like, hmm. Let's go and then anytime they had like a new release, which was like every other week. We were right on top of it. Mm -hmm. We were always on the website. Oh my goodness. But we used to just screenshot and send it to each other. Yeah. Is it worth it? Some of it. Most of it. But it goes bad real fast in my opinion. Mm -hmm. Especially like the liquid lipsticks and the glosses. The Super Shock shadows go bad really fast. They dry up too. They get even, even if you close it all the way, they dry up. I don't know how it happens. You get what you pay for. Yeah. It's not one you can have in your collection for very long. That's kind of shitty. Like their concealer, their brow pencil, um, let me see, their highlighters I like. We do have some standout products. Some hidden treasures. The Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Palette. Full of mattes, which I like because you can pair it with any other palette, especially with the trend being all metallic shimmery shades and no mattes, it'd be a definite good purchase for that reason. Then all matte looks would be like that, but uh, I don't use it as much as I'd like to. This will be your friendly reminder. This is my friendly reminder to myself to start using it more. Great pigmentation, great range of different transition, brow bone, kind of deepening up colors, so. It's definitely, definitely a good one at worth the hype. The Nivea Men Post Shave Balm. Whatever the heck, balm. The like aftershave balm. The primer. And let me tell you, for three ounces, for $6.99. Can't go wrong. You can't. I mean, your face smells like men for like a solid two hours. Don't mind it. But does it work? I mean, I wouldn't I want it to linger probably. But. No, I, you know, because after a while it's too potent. Mm -hmm. But. It, does it work? Absolutely. Are there other primers that are just as good out there? Absolutely. But when you look at it, three ounces versus an ounce for the price and they a do big, similar things. A big price difference. A big price difference. It is definitely worth the hype. Okay, so we hope you enjoyed this video and collaboration with our friend Shay. Let us know in the comments what YouTube made you buy. And don't forget to head over to Shay's channel again. And check out her video. Yes, because she did it as well. And it's linked down below. And give her some love. And give her some love and say you came from Coffee Wine is Fine. And grab a glass of wine. While you do so. And enjoy both videos. Like this video if you like videos like this. And follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat, and Instagram. Till next time, see ya real soon. Bye. <laughs> I'm sorry, I felt like I was on an airplane and they're like calling. Everybody, buckle your seatbelts. Turbulence. I use Max Fit. I use Max Fit. I don't mean. I can safely. Safe. <laughs> oh. Waters are good for absolutely nothing. Say it again.